In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create complex patterns from very simple paths. This is very cool and powerful technique, but honestly, it's just plain fun. So let's get into that. Okay, so first I'm going to create a simple path. So I'm just going to take my Bezier pen and hold Ctrl and create 45 degrees line. For now, this is totally fine. Now we can uh, go to path effects and find tiling. We can already see that it's doing something. It's making a pattern. Now we have few options. Actually, we have lots of options what we can do. And we can start with the simple path and just play with the mirroring mode, modes. You can see when we start changing the modes, there is different patterns that are going to emerge and you can change how many clones are in this style and also if you are in a node tool you can change the offset by dragging it or changing but by numerically so now i'm going to add some curve to make this effect a little bit cooler so i'll switch it to node tool and just drag and then I'm going to select my node and hold Ctrl to constrain it to the 90 degrees and do the same thing on the other side. And now it's basically just play with this. You can make it smaller, bigger, it doesn't matter. And you can just play with the options. You can also offset it. Uh, you can choose if we are going to offset column or row. So let's offset it 50% and this is offsetting columns and this is how it would look if we offset rows and yeah that's basically the effect and you can just play with the options here let's say i want a smaller bigger gap or i could try different mirroring modes until i find something that works for me So you can see you can get pretty creative with just one stroke so if i turn off this effect you can see it's still just one stroke and then you can outline it and just clip it if you want to use it as a pattern on the object so let's do that um, i'm going to outline it and then i'm going to create custom shape so just draw something use this as a clipping mask on this, so select both of the object and clip it. Yeah, so that was just simple stroke. There is a million other ways how to work with this and let me show you a few more examples. Okay, so that was what we can do with the single path. Now let's try something more complicated. I'm going to create a loop and I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to draw just the half of the loop and then second half is going to be mirror so I'm going back to path effects look for mirror and move the mirror in the middle so we have a full loop and now if we move this it's mirroring so we need to draw just half of it and uh, it also helps that now the both ends are at the same place. Now we can add another effect on it. So let's look for tiling. And this is already cool. Uh, but we can make it better by offsetting it 50%. And then changing, changing the gap so it overlaps between it and add more clones and maybe try a different mirroring okay so we can see that we can create pretty complex shapes by just playing with some stuff and that's a cool part that it really invites you to experiment and now we can make them maybe thicker and there is this another cool effect called knot 
and it will add gaps automatically where the paths are overlaid. So you can change how much is it cutting. So and it's still editable, so you can go back and have less clones. And you can also still adjust the path. Now we can turn on the knot back again. So yeah, this, this is pretty cool. And let me show another shape. Okay, so we need our shape to start at one position and then in a second one so it can be connected. So let me draw some kind of loop. So you can see starting in a left top corner and ending in a left bottom corner and I'm holding control so this is in 90 degrees so it's looping perfectly. So now I'm adding the tiling and you can see it's already tiling perfectly. We can adjust the handles so this looks more natural. But main thing about this is that it starts in left top corner and ends in the bottom right corner. And we can still play with the mirroring modes and find cool stuff and it's all going to loop inside because we are starting in left and ending in the right. You can do different types of looping, but this one is the, I would say, easiest. And actually this is so much fun to just play with this and try to come up with the cool patterns. Okay, let me show you the last one. So this one is going to be a little different and I'm going to hold controls so it's uh, straight. And I want this point and this point be on the same level so I'm just going to select them and align them in align and distribute panel. So now I'm going to add styling and you can see it's already looping perfectly. We can start playing with the mirroring. So we can see how fun it is to play with this and I hope you have fun.